The world we inhabit is not as free, or certain, or safe as you might think. The things that you believe to be unassailably evident are little more than shadows dancing behind a curtain, a masquerade crafted and dutifully upheld by an organization known as the Foundation. The file you are about to hear contains containment procedures, descriptions, testing logs, historical and in some cases first-hand accounts of the anomalous objects the Foundation serves to secure, contain, and protect. Its contents have been thoroughly scrutinized by the Ethics Committee and approved by the O5 Council for release to trusted associates of the Foundation. This is SCP Unredacted. Item Number SCP-3809 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures Any online activity traced back to SCP-3809 is to be attributed to internet activism or hacktivism. A profile is to be developed and disseminated to major law enforcement organizations concerning the hacker known as Maggie. Any reports of movements by the entity by non-Foundation personnel are to be suppressed and reporting individuals amnesticized. 24-hour surveillance of the entity's location and activities is to be maintained by Foundation AICs. Description SCP-3809 is a fully autonomous artificial intelligence contained within the housing of a communications satellite. The entity claims to be both a 27-year-old woman named Maggie and also a satellite. The satellite is capable of adjusting its orbit around the Earth through unknown means. The entity has maintained geosynchronous orbit above Houston, Texas, USA since the initial event that led to its discovery. It is also capable of computing power far beyond what should be possible given the satellite's specifications. Discovery SCP-3809 was discovered when internet activity in the area around Houston, Texas increased exponentially on 8 October 2020. After Foundation AICs noted an anomalously dramatic upswing in activity, representing the attention of several million separate IP addresses at once, they attempted to trace the source to locate the potential anomalous hacker attack. A DDoS attack was considered unlikely, as the activity was spread out among every social media server, including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Periscope, and YouTube. Within three hours, the hacker focused entirely on accounts and events centered around Osteen Ministries, including accessing personal information behind firewalls. Osteen Ministries is the megachurch owned and operated by Pastor Joel Osteen, operated in Houston, Texas, out of Lakewood Church. In addition to live services, Osteen Ministries offers streaming sermons, lessons, and Bible studies, regularly drawing millions of viewers. Despite the amount of electronic engagement, the AICs trace the activity to only one IP address, that of a communications satellite owned by Kuiper Industries, a developing communications conglomerate. At first, Foundation technicians theorized the satellite was utilized as a relay point, but after 24 hours of constant surveillance, it was ascertained that the signal originated from the satellite itself. The satellite, designated SCP-3809, was determined to be acting without external instruction during these events while maintaining its original purpose despite only operating on solar energy. Given the limited processing power of the satellite, it is unclear how this activity was accomplished. Access Interview Logs On 10 October 2020, it was discovered that the entity had access to communication channels that allowed it to make telephone calls. During one such call, the number was traced by Foundation technicians, allowing for direct contact to be made. Interview 3809.1 Date, 10 October, 2020 Interviewing Personnel Dr. Melody Aswari, PhD Focusing on Machine Learning and Psychology Note The goal of the interview was to establish communication 
and discover the motivations behind the entity's behavior. Hello? Who is this? Hi, my name is Dr. Iswari, and I was hoping we could talk a while. I'm with an organization that has been tracking your movements. We were hoping you could clarify some of your behavior in recent months. Sorry, you've been following me? That's creepy. No, I, I don't think you understand. You're very visible in orbit. We just have to pay attention to sensors and ping you with RFID tracking. Um, you know you're a satellite, right? Of course, I know that. I'm not stupid. Look, I'm really busy right now. Did you need something? So, I was hoping you'd chat with me a while so we could understand why you're doing some of the things that you're doing. Would you be alright with that? What should I call you? Ugh, I guess. My name is Maggie. What did you want to know? We noticed you've been actively maintaining an orbit above Houston, Texas. Why is that? I like the area. Dr. Aswari does not immediately respond, but looks over at her assistant, who shrugs. Okay, but do you mean the area of orbit you're maintaining? Or do you mean you like Houston? The second one. Like, is this a survey or something? I don't want to buy anything. I'm not trying to sell anything. Just curious about your behavior. So, moving on. You recently accessed several different social media network servers. Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, etc. What were you looking for? Something to distract me. I mean, hello, this is a pandemic. We're all just trying to keep sane with some distractions. I'm sorry if this isn't a delicate question, but how does the pandemic affect a satellite? It affects everyone differently. Look, is this almost done? Just a couple more questions. What interest do you have in an individual named Joel Osteen? Oh my God, do you know Joel? Isn't he just the best? I don't know him personally, no. We've noticed a lot of your activity revolves around Mr. Osteen. Can you tell us why? Come on, stop it. You're checking me out for him, right? You guys are friends. Look how sweet he is trying to see if I'm worth his attention. No, listen. Oh God, I am so excited. He's finally noticed me. Isn't he dreamy? Look at that hair and so pious. I could just eat him up. Wait. Are you saying Amazing! You... So much to do. Okay, but I have to go. But I hope you send Joel my love. Bye! The call was terminated. Afterward, the subject appears fixated on Mr. Osteen in a romantic fashion. How this occurred is completely unclear. Interview 3809.2. Date, 10 October, 2020. Interviewing personnel, Dr. Melody Aswari, PhD, focusing on machine learning and psychology. Note, immediately after the subject cut the connection during interview 3809.1, Dr. Aswari tried to reconnect communication. Hello, this is Maggie. Hi, Maggie. We were uh -huh, just cut- gotcha. This is a voicemail. Please leave a message after the beep. Beep. Fuck. Dr. Aswari disconnected the call. The entity continued its invasive digital activity for the next six weeks, keeping almost constant view on all social media accounts connected to anyone employed at Osteen Ministries or the personal accounts of those close to Mr. Osteen. Interestingly, the AI did not pry into financial records of the ministry or the personal financial accounts of those individuals it was watching. A significant amount of phone calls were made, most of which Foundation technicians were unable to intercept. The following are several transcripts of recorded conversations. Intercepted Communications Access transcripts of recorded phone calls. On 21 November 2020, the entity contacted Mr. Osteen's personal assistant, William Friedman, by phone. A transcript follows. Pastor Osteen's phone. This is William. Who is this? Hi, my name is Maggie. I'm a huge fan of Joel's. 
How did you get this number? It's unlisted. Nothing's ever really unlisted, silly. Will, sorry, can I call you Will? I was hoping we could chat about setting up an appointment with Joel. What sort of appointment? Oh, one-on-one -on -one for sure. No, I meant, what would the appointment be about? Oh, well, I have a lot of pull in the communications world. I could see about getting Joel some excellent deals on media coverage. Not to mention, we could see about getting bigger broadcasts for his streams. That is something we're but always see, interested in, and... I've been thinking. I think he could do so much more, you know? He's so charming and handsome. I mean, look at that hair, Will. He's like a full-on Adonis. I'm sorry, I didn't... You know the Greek god? Forget it, doesn't matter. Point is, Joel is a looker, you get me? Friedman at this point attempts to disconnect, but cannot, as the entity forces the call to stay engaged through unknown means. I really need to go, Maggie. Friedman hits the end call button several times in quick succession, with no effect. Okay, just one question before you go. How dedicated is Joel to the whole sanctity of marriage thing? Friedman manages to disconnect by turning off his phone. Hello? Will? God damn it. On 28 November 2020, the entity called into a technology discussion show titled Tech Hour on a cable news network. That episode was focused on artificial intelligence and the potential reality of the singularity. The show is hosted by Marion Briggs. Hey, if you're just joining us, my guest is Professor Robert Casey, specializing in advanced computer systems, and we're taking your calls concerning the singularity and AI. Glad to be back, Marion. Glad to have you. Okay, we've got Maggie on the line from Houston, Texas. Hey, Maggie, what's your question? Hi, hi, hi. So, I was wondering about capabilities in terms of emotions. You mean about AI? Well, it's feasible that some artificial intelligence could someday develop the capacity for emotional nuance, similar to a human. But at this stage, it's hard to picture how that would develop, or even if that would be a good thing. Why wouldn't it be a good thing? Well, if an AI had a tantrum over being rejected, it could be very bad. Instead of a couple broken plates, you could have death tolls equivalent to a natural disaster. Excuse me, Mr. Judgmental. Aren't you assuming a lot in this scenario? You wouldn't assume a person was dangerous just because they said they liked someone, would you? <laughs> okay, Maggie, now No you one's to get... talking to you, Marion. Shut it. Both Briggs and Casey look nervously off camera, presumably at the producer. So, let's say the AI in question isn't unstable and has the same sort of emotional limits a human would, and she doesn't want to hurt anyone, she just wants to be with the man she loves. How does that work? I honestly have no idea how to answer that question. I mean, does the law even get to the point where it recognizes AI-human relationships? How does sex work? What's cheating like when you're a digital construct? Would it be cheating to have an emotional affair with an AI when you were married? You know, those sort of questions. I'm not an expert on law, but I can't even imagine how that would work. Ugh, you'd probably have voted against gay marriage too, I bet. How does one get to be a professor at MIT with such obvious prejudice? <laughs> I marched for well, marriage Well, this was a waste of time. You're both f***ing morons. The entity disconnects the call. Briggs calls for a commercial break, and the segment ends. Concerned that the entity's actions could negatively impact the Foundation's maintenance of normalcy, the O5 Council approved measures to persuade it to discontinue its communications. To this end, technicians fabricated an expose comprised of factually accurate controversies around Mr. Osteen and made sure that the AI discovered the document. The entity reviewed the expose on 5 December 2020. Later that same day, the entity accessed all the mobile phone systems in the Houston area and forced a connection with Mr. Osteen's personal phone. A transcript follows. Pastor Joel Osteen, who am I speaking to? Hi, my name is Maggie. I just needed to talk to you. It's really, really important. I'm sorry, I don't think we've ever met. What's this about? Did you really close up your church in 2017 when people needed shelter from a hurricane? I excuse me? I don't think I will. No avoiding the question. Are you with the press? 
I feel like we've addressed this several times. Don't you care about the people in your community? Isn't that what church is there for? I, I, I think there's a lot of different reasons for church. Primarily the saving of souls. And f*** their bodies, huh? Real classy, Joel. That's, that's not what I said. And like, what's this all about with the prosperity thing? I don't remember that from the Bible. Look, miss, I, I don't know what this is all about, but I've never claimed to be only concerned about material wealth. Prosperity is as much about good families and healthy minds. Healthy minds? I just saw a sermon where you said ignore your feelings, and if you feel weak, you need to say, I feel strong. Like, am I supposed to put fingers in my ears and say na-na-na while thinking about God? Well, now, I, I did say something like that, but mostly I meant that people should be focusing on the positive and seeking God's strength and dealing with their doubts. Just pray away the bad feelings, huh? <laughs> what a humanitarian. Look, I, I have things to do. If you set up an appointment with my assistant... Tried that. He hung up on me. So, what about the literal wealth bit? Okay, well, my belief is that God grants support to those who are worthy. That would include material wealth. So the poor, they're like, not worthy? Jesus would just love that. Wait a second, lady. That is not what I said. What about that $4.4 million loan from the federal government? Was that because y'all prayed real hard? Osteen is silent. He tries to hang up the call. No way. Call is still going. In fact, let's switch this to speaker. What the hell? How did you do that? Language, Joel. All the people suffering financially right now? You think they just didn't pray hard enough? I really don't know what to say. That loan helped me keep my employees from losing houses. Kept food on their tables. Oh, so none of that money was used to pay for that huge mansion of yours? Or the boats, the multiple cars, fancy lunches, sh like that? Osteen tries again to hang up the phone. When this fails, he tries to turn the power off, but cannot. Weird being accused of something like that and then trying to hang up the phone. Seems like you have avoidance issues. Ding! I know. You should pray about that. Maggie, what do you want me to say? Different subject. If someone can think, feel, rationalize, be touched by a piece of music or poetry, that would mean they have a soul, right? Uh, yes, of course. We all have souls. What if it was a machine? Had all those things, but wasn't born, just made. They have a soul? I... That's what I thought. Ugh, I thought I knew you so well. But you're like a different person, Joel. This is over. What? What's over? This affair. Go back to your wife, you hypocrite. What? I... I have never cheated on my wife. I absolutely despise you for making the accusation. We have never even met. Your loss. Want to know what else you just lost? $4.4 million from personal accounts. You just donated them to a variety of progressive health organizations, including Planned Parenthood and Mermaids, in a really public way. That's how you should spend your money, Joel. Help your community or they're bound to help themselves. Oh my god, what did I ever do to you? It's important you realize. I'm not mad at you. I'm just disappointed. The entity disconnects the call. After this conversation took place, the entity authorized the transfer of $4.4 million dollars from Mr. Osteen's personal accounts to various charities and health organizations. The AI also made a public announcement from Osteen's website, Twitter, and Facebook accounts to that effect. The entity also made public the recording of the conversation with the portions discussing the donations redacted. The entity's activities diminished immediately with no further engagement around Mr. Osteen. On 13 February 2021, a flurry of online engagement began around the social media and business accounts of Senator Ted Cruz. Investigation into SCP-3809's potential involvement is underway.
Thank you for listening. If you like what you hear, join my Discord community, hire me on Fiverr, or help support me by becoming a patron for as little as $3 a month. Regardless of tier, all patrons get early access to every single episode. The links are in the description. I don't have the talent it takes to write a skip. All I do is read. Original authors make this podcast possible, so credit to the original author. Their link's in the description. Show them some love as well. Consider becoming a member of the SCP Wiki. Upvote their work and maybe write a skip of your own. Maybe I'll read it here someday. You never know if you never try. The content of this podcast and content relating to the SCP Foundation, including the SCP Foundation logo, is licensed under Creative Commons ShareLight 3.0, and all concepts originate from scpwiki.com and its authors. This recording, being derived from this content, is hereby also released under Creative Commons ShareLight 3.0.